All right. Normally, I'm not super excited, not in a bad way, but when I do an AI in five, um, normally I'm like, all right, cool. This could be this could be fun. But for this one, I'm actually very excited because one problem I have is I have way too many screenshots all over the place and it's hard to work with them. So let's take a look at Trickle. Uh, a, a new AI tool that says it can turn your screenshot chaos into gold. Uh, but before we do, just as a reminder, maybe you're new here. My name is Jordan Wilson. I am the host of Everyday AI. So we're a live uh, daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter and tutorial maker uh, helping everyday people learn and leverage AI. So let's go ahead and learn and leverage some AI. So let's talk real quick about um, about Trickle. So it's it's a brand new tool. Um, and just as an FYI, they have a free trial, but you have to put in your payment information. So it's a seven day uh, free trial, but then after that, it's either $10 a month if you pay monthly or uh, $8 a month if you pay annually. I haven't even used it yet, but if it works as I think it might, I might actually pay for this. And, I, and, and I'm not one to pay for a, a lot of tools. Well, actually maybe I am, but let's go ahead and, and jump in. Uh, so I created a free trial account. You didn't miss anything. I didn't set anything up. I just signed up. Uh, skip that part just so you don't, y'all don't, you know, steal, steal my credit card. All right. So again, we do these live, <laughs> both the live stream, you know, our daily live stream podcast and the AI and five, we do this live. This isn't polished or edited, uh, just so you can see how it works. Um, so it looks pretty simple. It looks like all I'm going to do is click new memory um, and we'll see what happens. So uh, over here, it says to start, send a screenshot by clicking the plus icon or pasting it. Interesting, pasting it. Um, so I can't click on that. So I'm not sure what it means. So I'm just going to go old school. I'm going to click uh, new memory. Oh, no. So I have to click the send a screenshot, click the plus, plus icon. All right. There's a UI UX uh, issue. So if you're watching this, uh, I have no clue how to add this, right? So it says upload your screenshot and it says click the plus button. Um, so I'm guessing it means here, not super intuitive. They should change that. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some screenshots quick. Uh, so I'm gonna take a screenshot. I was just doing this for uh, a project today. Uh, let me make sure my, my screenshot uh, app is working right now. I actually use clean uh, clean shot uh, for my screenshot, so I got to make sure that's activated. Uh, that's not going to affect anything. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot here um, and save this. Um, then I'm going to jump into. Uh, let me just jump into this um, this little slide I made. So let me go ahead and screenshot that. All right. Let me find something else to screenshot. Let me screenshot the Everyday AI homepage. Let's just go ahead and see how good this thing does. I'm gonna save that. Uh, what else What else should I screenshot here? All right, I have uh, an article up here about AI, something we covered uh, on the show this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot this as well. All right, that should be enough. Uh, let's just see how this works. So I'm gonna jump back in to trickle now, I'm going to click this uh, plus button here. I'm going to add my screenshots. I don't know if you're going to be able to see these or not. So it looks like there is a way to bulk upload. I'm going to go ahead and do it one by one. So there goes. It looks like the um, the article that I screenshotted. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the now the Everyday AI homepage. So it looks like it automatic, which is fine. It looks like what happens is it automatically, which is kind of nice. It could be a little time consuming, but it looks like it automatically um, just starts to summarize. So maybe if you do the bulk up upload, it's a little different. Uh, so I'll actually probably try the bulk, bulk upload just with the other two or three. So I did the individual ones now, and it looks like pretty cool. It uh, it automatically just started to summarize it. It looks like uh, the same thing. Uh, it, I did the, um, the everyday AI one. So screenshot of that. Cool. Um, it looks like I can save it in memories too. So that's great. looks like I can categorize this. Uh, very cool. So I'm going to go ahead now and try this bulk upload. Uh, so it says max, uh, max 30. So I'm going to go ahead and just try two. 
uh, the other two screenshots here. So I did that one. I did that one. All right. I have two more. So I'm going to just upload these two different screenshots. So now the other two screenshots. Um, so it looks like the bulk upload, it gives you a percentage down there, which is, which is nice. Um, all right. So it's processing those. And upload complete. So now the good thing that you can do is you can talk with and talk to your screenshots. So as an example, I'm going to say what happened. Let's see if this works. I have no clue. What happened with Elon Musk uh, regarding AI? Let's just see how, how it works. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, so just said right there, it read this screenshot, right? You can see this one is pretty big. So now I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to test this one. I'm going to say, what is everyday AI? What is, I, what is everyday AI? So it says everyday AI is a service that includes a daily newsletter and podcast covering AI trends, news experts. Cool. Did it. Awesome. So now I'm going to see how well it can read even images or text, right? So this um, screenshot down here in the lower right-hand corner, this is from a, a, something I made uh, in Canva. It was a uh, you know, little, little slide. So I'm going to ask, what are some of the downsides of ChatGPT? I'm going to go ahead and ask that. Some of the downsides of ChatGPT. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so right there, it's, it's reading it. It says, you know, limited usage, blah, blah, blah. Um, one thing I would like to know, which it's kind of, kind of interesting, um, you know, if it can read uh, different, um, different types of screenshots, right? So these are all very text-based. I'm wondering if, if, if it can um, read kind of like images or graphs. Uh, that would be the next thing I would test out. But this is AI in five. We try to do this quick and easy. So far, pretty good, if I'm being honest. Uh, a couple a couple things on the UI UX, they should clean up to make it a little more clear. Uh, looks like I can share to web. Uh, anyone with the link can view, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to paste it in an incognito tab where I'm not logged in to see what happens when you share it. Um, so it looks like it's just the different screenshots. And I wonder if I can do this. Let's, let's try this. Um, what are the downsides of chat GPT? I'm going to see if I can use it as an outside user. So it doesn't look like you can. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. It looks like you can just, okay. So you can read, which is nice. You can read the, uh, AI generated, um, review of that. Sorry. Let me, let me bring that back up here. Y'all, uh, again, this is unedited. I just do this live. All right. So where is our, here we go. Okay. So this is what a user, if you share the link, uh, they can, they can read this, uh, which is, which is kind of nice. So, you know, whether you have other people on your team, um, or if someone, uh, if you want to share this with someone, maybe a client, you're doing work for someone, I don't know, but, uh, that's a very easy way to, uh, save and share, uh, what you have going on. Uh, so it looks like you can also just real quick, you can favorite things. Uh, looks like the memories, um, that's just where everything goes when you upload, I'm wondering if you can create uh, folders. I don't see an option. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like everything just kind of goes in one, uh, which is fine. Uh, different views so you can see it. Uh, connections, it looks like you can connect. Um, Notion, WeChat, Discord's coming soon, Slack coming soon, um, bulk upload. So yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. Kind of like it. I try, I, I try not to be too opinionated because I want you to uh, judge for yourself. But this was a long one. This was an AI in nine. Thank you for joining. As a reminder, if this was helpful, I hope it was. Please go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter. We share this every single day. We go live Monday through Friday. Thank you for joining us.